folks and welcome back to Minus Tree. As you can see here up in our resources, we have some stuff that we imported over and now we can use to do various things. Uh, one kind of thing I forgot about is the spore pods. We can use spore pods to make oil, then we can use a coal centrifuge to make coal. So like we can always get coal. I just never really considered it. Uh, so yeah, that's my bad. Uh, but I'm happy that I have uh, since either not, I haven't corrected the mistake, but I at least uh, realized that I could just do that and not have it be a problem at all. Uh, but yeah, that's just something that I need to remember. <laughs> uh, so we go forward and uh, get some of the stuff made. Now, my friends, where are my friends? I think they're mining somewhere. Um, that's okay. I don't think we'll need them for a little bit here as we're continuing to build out some. Oh, that's right. They're repairing things as they get broken. They're somewhere up there, I think. Here they go. Whee! I don't like that they fly out when uh, the attack's still happening. I wish there was like a delay thing you could do or something along those lines. Because, yeah, there's only two of them now when there were four or five of them before. So we might have to address that issue a little bit down the road here. But we are out of titanium for right now. We used up all 300 or so of our resources for that. And I'm sure we'll get them back at some point here. But right now we got to wait. All right, so we want another set of monos. And that's just going to allow us to get some more stuff built and designed. And I want to make sure... And if we're doing all that, I want to make sure we can get rid of all of the things we previously built. Because I do not want them to go and start rebuilding all the stuff. Especially because lots of it was not a good idea compared to hopefully what we have in place now. I think that's all. Oh, nope. Uh, we, uh, I suppose we really should have a way for that to get taken care of. So we'll put these back into place here. Get rid of that because we most definitely don't need it. And then we can snake this thing up and over. I'm trying to follow the exact pathways that we had roughly before. That's going to up there. And then we can rebuild that. No, we don't, I don't need any of that. Stop building stuff. I do wish the uh, bots would also build stuff where you are at. Alright, there we go. Alright, so those guys are at least going to get fed with what they need. And I think for the most part, we're okay. You, I just want you to work on repair. You, I just want you to work on repair. I do not want anything coming off that line because I don't think we need it. Uh, that's what that was there for, as a splitter to go out that way. We'll see if we need that down the road here. But we do have more uh, titanium in stock now. So hopefully I can... I'm going to grab one of those guys to help me out at least a little bit here. And I'll throw them all into repair mode and we'll see what we can do. I forgot how much they'd like to attack this area up here. We can, maybe we can strengthen that area up a bit. What I really should do is put some force projectors out there. That would make this way easier. So let's see what that looks like. And I always forget how much uh, power force projectors use up. That's 240. Okay, we can afford it. I mean, it's not an expense I want to do. But it's also not like a crazy expense for us. So I think we can probably get four of those in here. Actually, I should give them power first so I know exactly what I'm dealing with here. All right, and I probably should project or protect that area as well. So let me get that in there. I always hit the wrong button of where it's at. I was for some reason think it's in a different spot, and it never is. It's just that's what I think. All right, and then we can repair those guys as well. And actually, we can put some salvos out here. We don't have to have, uh, not Lancer, I want a salvo. Um, but we don't have to have those particular ones in there. We can do something like this. And then, boop, boop. And we'll just start straight north. There we go. Power-wise, we're doing just fine. At least for that branch. And it actually serves a whole bunch of other purposes. I forgot how far this went around and down. And how we really need to increase our production of sand. So we're going to 
get rid of this bad boy here. At least for now. We may come back to it later. And we're going to put in a couple of these bad boys. So one and two. And then we'll make sure we get water and water. And just hopefully that can fill up a whole line of stuff so we can start producing things. There, it's already feeding them significantly faster than what it was before, which is what I'm looking for. Oh, we even have the little power strips up here. <laughs> I'll put that in just for, for funsies. That area up there is built up. It looks like they did get out here a little bit, or maybe not. And I'm going to put another repair point here. I'll probably put it like in there because that's where they always come is to that general area. I need a bigger one, but I don't have the resources for it currently. All right, let's bring on the next round. I don't think we have to wait too, too long for any of this. This crew I'm just going to bring out of here. And once we kill the bad guys, then you can go out on your phone. All right, there we go. And I suppose I should turn off making these at this point. We don't need any more. We're good. So we'll turn that off and hopefully it'll be all right. And let's send in that next wave. And that wall is lit up pretty nicely. I'm a little worried about the power node getting slapped every so often. Uh, let's take a look at some other weaponry that we might be able to employ here. Uh, fuses uh, are a little interesting to us. We just don't have the resources for that. Uh, a cyclone. Again, it doesn't require a lot of stuff. And uh, it's against... Oh, that's... It's not bad. It's not bad at all. We just don't need... We don't have the stuff there for it. Spectre's always... Always fun, especially because we have graphite, so we could set up a little specter battle somewhere up here just to really mess them up. That would, ooh, I like that idea, but we I do not want to pull in all the resources that would need it for that. But I think we're going to, where's my, there it is, salt flats, go. Let's just, let's just flood the zone. Let's dump all the stuff over there. I'm still so happy with this setup. Yeah, there's a little fine tuning I need to do to really make it perfect, but I'm so happy with it. All right, if we take a oh, did you see that? I, I saw. Let me go back here. So the game is. I'm gonna pause the game here real fast. But if we go in here, and look at this. Oh, it's 40 plus of 42. I thought it just said 40 of 42. So that was uh, mighty concerning to me. But hopefully we'll get our other resources in here shortly, and then we can do some things. Uh, and what are we using? What are we using plastium? Why is it going up and down? I don't understand. Alright, I might throw a couple of containers in here. Just to try to increase some of the stuff we have. Why are those existing there? We don't need... Oh, that's why I was going up and down. Because we had... I guess that's a, a beltway that we had previously that got rebuilt. Alright, let's go. I want to get this shindig done with. And I, I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me as I uh, battle my own stupidity. Alright, so I can we can do a ripple. If we want to do a ripple, that might make the most sense. Just throw a ripple up there. We can water cool it for days. And then as far as it's... Uh, Stuff that we're going to use here. I think we're just going to have it split. Or not even split. We're just going to go out that way. Now we'll do something like that. Oh god. No we won't. I always do that. I always want to draw everything closer than what it needs to be. I don't know why. And I also definitely don't need to have fast transport on any of this stuff. There we go. That's more than enough. All right, so you have that. You're going to get some ammo. We need to generate some more in the way of... 
Well, hold on. Let me let me think about this because I need to see what kind of uh, power cultivators draw. It's 80 power. That's a lot of power. All right. But let me uh, take a look here because we can use it to make oil, right? An oil extractor uses input sand and water, and we can oh, oh we can just use that. We don't even need to make cultivator. We can just do that. But let me go back into the manufacturing here. Spore press. It's 18 oil per second. It requires three spores per second. And then we use a... Take the coal centrifuge. Does that just make it into oil? Okay, never mind. All my plans are done. <laughs> uh, but what I can do is definitely go in and... Uh, not a spore press. What the heck was I trying to do? I totally lost my train of thought. I apologize. All right, we'll just keep going and we'll see what we do uh, as I mess around here. It was an oil extractor. That's what it was. I just, I never use these, so I lose track of what they are. But we can get lots of sand and lots of water. And that's only 70% efficient. Do we have different colored stuff? I don't, oh, we do have an area a little up there. Nothing wild, though. I don't think there's good sources of water up there. We also don't necessarily need that resource up here, but we do have that. So I could spin it up the coal there. I'm not gonna do that, but I could. Oh, I could split this off, make an entirely separate run of this stuff. How much space does that require? Also, that sounds like a bad idea. We don't need to do that. Um, <laughs> All right, we're doing okay. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna rock the boat too much right now. I want to see if this gets involved and then actually I do want to rock the boat a bit because I want to make more power so that we can uh, put some force generators up over on this side. Or force projectors, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, Ripple's doing its job. That area is brutal. I love it. All right, so uh, let's go over. I think I'll split off of here, head up, and then we can tap into that water source there. I think that's the plan, so. We'll tap off of that. I'm going to bring fast lines, I think, over. All right. And then I can go in and do some steam generators. So I'll do five, I guess. And then we're just gonna throw splitters on all of this. And then we can get pumps. Two, three, four, five. Carry that down like so. Connect that one in. Make sure nobody is struggling with water. And I guess we need to make sure it's connected to our power source. There we go. And water is slowly rising on these it's, it's doing its job uh, and what's nice here is if we need more power we can do a, a parallel one on, right on the other side and we're not really using any real resources that we need to worry about right now for that which is phenomenal you can see we're actually we're taking away from our graphite production because of that we used to have stocked things all the way through and uh, it is not stocked things all the way through anymore which is very interesting to see Alright, so let's go ahead and get our force projector set up. All right, I'm going to get rid of that guy just so I can do my force projector right there. There we go, that should be fine for that area. We're gonna help this crew out here as well. And then on the ones that we can easily do stuff, we're gonna add some water onto them. So, I thought I had one somewhere over here that could get water real easy. Oh, it's this guy right here, yeah, you can get water, no problem. All right, and then we just need to provide power out to the other one. 
And we have this crew here that is wanting to get refilled. All of these are wanting to get refilled. I guess that came from over here. That's quite the... Uh, I must have been feeling real good when I did that. Jeez. And what's crazy is some of these still have ammo, some do not. So I don't know if these were rebuilds that don't have the ammo or if it's a uh, totally new crew in there. But we're just going to try to help this along a bit. I don't want to be that low. So we're going to take this crew and we're going to put them on slow lines because it doesn't really matter. I'm not producing that much of it. I have to remember not to use my titanium up on maps that don't really justify the amount that we have access to. Like the amount we'd have to spend to get these lines to actually be full and not just... Uh, running on i should say with the slow drills upgrading all the uh, to the big drills for all the things is going to make it significantly more expensive across the board because you have to upgrade power you have to upgrade all of the things to be able to do just that little bit more so we may need to upgrade to faster ones here these guys are outputting oh they're water powered okay that's why but they're outputting more than i thought they would let's see how are these areas working now it's like it's not too big of a deal um can we Please repair that thing. No, no. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Let's keep rolling here. I'm going to try to move through these a little faster um, because I think I've done the things that I want to do. Although we can afford more fun stuff up here. I got shot down. <laughs> but look at this. We can afford a meltdown if we want it. That's wild. All we need to do is uh, give it... F uh, oh, it just needs water and a butt ton of power. And we can <laughs> wipe out all of their stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do that, obviously. But it's just fun to think about. Spectre is the one I kind of want to go with. Because we have graphite. And we can produce graphite. And it can do lots of things. And this thing is just... It's balling. Like, it just goes bananas. So I think I'm going to do that. Where do I want to put it up here? You know what? Why not both? So we're going to start with the one. I would love to put, uh, have put it there or back here. But that's not going to happen. So we're going to put it right over here. And I'm going to have to call my friends over to help. Because I need help. All right, so that's there. Now what we can do is we can try to go cool it. Oh, Why did I put it right there? Okay. Um, I can jump there. Maybe jump there and over. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> It's working. That's hilarious. Okay, that's full ammo, full water. Perfect. And we should be able to do the other side of that very easily over here, minus full ammo. That's going to it's gonna be a little bit of a problem for us. Uh, so, Spectre, put it right there. And I suppose we're just going to have it go straight. Well, what I think I'm going to do actually is go straight to a vault, not a vault. Let's go to a container. And the idea here is that we don't have a lot of this yet, so hopefully when we get more, we can use it to do what we need there. But right now we can't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Down on power. Why are we so down on power? Alright, so... That's why we did this. It's crushing our production of stuff up there, which is a little bit of a concern, but... Where are you, Steam Generator? There you are. So I'm just going to add two of them for right now. We'll get all the rest of that stuff established in just a moment. One, two, three, four, five. Sure, that should work.
No, not, oh, you already have water just from that. Okay, my bad. And we're back to plus power. That's all I needed. Yeah, you can see that only has 51 so far. Like, it's just not enough. forgetting that they have a lot of air power but it just never makes it to us because it gets destroyed instantly which I, I greatly appreciate um what i'm playing with though is getting something that can defend up here as well um so we have graphite and again we can get another specter up there i think without any issue yeah might just throw that in there just for funsies And I think that's going to have to go to a container and, you know, like, do all that stuff. Just because these things go through so much weaponry that we need to be able to utilize it more quickly. Or let it bulk up a little more quickly, should I say. So we have that one. Do I want to water it? Uh, I could easily get water up there. That's not a problem. Alright, let's get some water up there. There we go. You got all your ammo, or most of it. We're still not fully loaded up. Oh, no, you got it all. All right, we're watering up there. All right, let's move through this one. Is there air power? Yeah, there is. It's coming. There they are. So we got some bombers inbound. Okay, they're damaging that area because it's get, they're just getting they go right over the flight path of our stuff there okay I can deal with that all right and I also think that I want to either put an overflow no I can't put an overflow on there can I because these guys what do they take as their weapons okay now we could put it on there because we'll just pass it through and go to there but we don't need to so So what I should do is build something to store all that stuff in. So let's do that. Do I want a container? Let's just do a container. And I'll just throw an unloader on there. And Bob's your uncle. What do you have stored up so far, container? Yeah, see, they're just not getting that much. But we'll stick the unloader in there. Make sure we have everything set. And we should put our pumps in there. I actually think we could shut down one of these. You can see how these guys aren't being able to get out into the place because of that. I could put faster routing on there, but I don't want to. All right, let's move on to the next round here and hopefully get this over with sooner rather than later. I think I'd like to get some better firepower up here as well. I just don't know what. So these guys are pumping out stuff. We have another setting area over there for them to pump out stuff, which I think I'll do. And then we'll build another line of salvos up here, I think is what I want to plan on here. Uh, so let's go in. I could even put an air blast drill. I'm really tempted to do that. There's, there's no good reason to do what I just did. It is an absolute waste of resources, but makes me happy. All right, so we'll do that. Going to transfer that stuff up here. Let's see, there we go, that's what I want it. And we don't have that much time before the next wave, so we'll Hold off for a second. We're going to put a titanium wall here. 
with a whole bunch of salvos. Oh, is this bigger stuff? Four enemies. Okay, that was a down round. Okay, cool. I can deal with that. So we'll do something along those lines. We're going to grab Salvo City. Throw it in there like so. And then we can just copy lots of this stuff when it gets built. like my biggest frustration is with this game is that I misclick all the time and it's not even the game it's just me being an idiot and uh yeah all right so that's our new defensive base structure farther out uh we need to get some force projectors on all of that stuff So that should be enough to cover that. Power wise, oh boy, it's fluctuating greatly. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut one of these down just for a bit. Go, okay. Power wise, we still need some work. Let's see if we can increase our ability to get stuff down there. There we go. That should increase our power output. I think we were just running out of... Uh, yeah, see, now we're back on the plus side because all that stuff's getting fed. just wasn't getting fed enough before. Um, but what we can do here is we can actually fix this up for realsies, I think. Uh, so we'll get rid of all of this just for a hot second. Because we have an air blast drill, we can add that on and produce just significantly more. All right, so we'll do that. We'll bring that over and then we'll throw it into there. And then we should just start flying through stuff. Yeah, you can see this belt is already 100% totally full. And I need to put an overflow gate. We'll put it right there. So it should output straight for, oh crap, I need to rethink that, okay. So then we put an overflow gate. That's there. And there we go, okay. Power wise, we're still a little fluxy. So I might uh, put another few on there. And that should restore us back to regular power. And we need to have this thing be able to actually output more stuff. But we're over halfway through now. Let's see, we have five enemies. So we have one boat and probably four of the horizons. That gets shot up pretty quick. Uh, let's see if we can help that out a little bit. Uh, let's try some parallaxes. Like that. And let's find some segments as well. Don't have segment, okay. Never mind. Alright, and then we probably should give them power. Alright, let's see the next round here. 
Seven enemies, so three boats and four bombers. Here they come. I don't know if that helped at all. Oh, it doesn't help that we... Uh, This is just me being impatient, because I really just want them to reload all this stuff as quickly as we possibly can. Alright, let's go. Seven enemies, so we got one boat, and that means six bad guys. Here they come. Okay, as long as we don't get wiped out there, we should be okay, I think. Let's keep it going. Yeah, this one was weird because it like it ebbs and flows with its difficulty level. Ooh, that was nice. They had some stronger units there, but they got lit up pretty quick. for all that stuff is doing just fine. I'm telling you, the Horizon is just such better bang for your buck. I, I love the Horizons. The next level of them just doesn't, it's not fast, it takes longer to do everything. I don't like these, whatever these guys are called. I don't like them. I like the Horizons. You know, this one got drawn in. Alright, so I have my one little guy going to repair or to rebuild everything. love to get some cyclones in there they fire explosive flak which i could easily use um but it needs metaglass luckily we have dark sand we have lead so making metaglass is not going to be a real issue for us so we'll do that we'll do that then we need a kiln and i really hope i remembered that recipe right did i yes i did thank god all right, so we'll do that over there. All right, then this guy's gonna come there, over and up. Put three more of those bad boys on there. Give you some power. And you're making metal glass. There we go. Alright, we are gonna get rid of you guys. Sorry. We're gonna get rid of you. Get rid of you and you. It's nothing personal. Just move that one over a bit. And do we wanna add one up here? Sure, why not? All right, and then we can take all of that and route it over this way. Uh, why 
why, 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 why? Why was there lead on there for a second? <laughs> That's very fun to watch. All right, well, let's go ahead and see if we can bolster that even more. Cyclone City. So we have three of those in place because that's what will fit. There we go. There should be loading up and that will give us some more stuff. I'm also going to put, oh, that's where it was coming from. My bad. Okay. I see it now. And then that means I could put a little container right there. A little unloady action right there. There we go. Next round. I just want to see what happens with air power on this one. It's not going to be a lot of air, but... It definitely took care of them a little quicker. I love that we put that in there. The most unnecessary thing. Although, I mean, you can see that we are using up the ammo. So it's, it's definitely coming of use. So let's see. I haven't actually paid attention to the water stuff at all. So I want to see how far they're actually making it now that we have this upgraded front. No, not far. Okay. I love that that's all that was hit was one little spot and we're reloaded on ammo this bad boy is loading back up again it's a beautiful beautiful thing let's keep your on in got all that repair whatever needs repaired and we're going to reload all the things that need to be reloaded um, I do have a question here coming up. Uh, the boats kind of look like they send out like a, a flare or something. So I want to just kind of see if I can stay safe and nudge in here. And we're going to start this next one. But watch the tops of the boats. Right around here. Oh, are they just starting? To, oh, no, they're firing at me. No, there's something going on there. I have to go back and see it because I, I swear I saw something weird going on just for that one little spot. Maybe it's these guys, and maybe they're just firing a missile or something, I don't know. There they go. See those little rings that went out? I don't understand why the rings went out. Those are significantly stronger. Good for them. Alright, I'm tempted to put another one of these farther down here as well. Wouldn't be a big deal to split that off there. Or just run it right through here and then throw a pump. Yeah, why not? Oh, this could be one of the reasons why our power keeps fluctuating so we have dumb things there Let's see can we do this better we have to be able to do that better right Let's see if that helps at all There we go. Alright, let's keep going. Four enemies, okay. I 
keep thinking we lose power every time the kiln goes dead. It was just because where it's, it doesn't have anywhere to produce stuff to. So I get it now. It was just very much concerning me that I uh, just see it look like it shut down. Like, see how it comes to life? And then, pew, it looks like the power just went out. It's not, it's just that it doesn't need to produce that anymore. Okay. I mean, they're not really changing it up at all, and we're d doing just fine and making sure we smack them back a bit. I, while we're waiting here, I need to reroute some of this coal to other places because you can see that we have an entire line basically not being used and I'd, I'd prefer to use it. So I want to get rid of that particular spot. Go out this way. And where do I want to dump it out at? Probably. I'm gonna cross here, make a bridge there. Nah. Ugh, there's not good options. I'm very upset. Let's see, we can't have sand, so I have to go to inverted sorter. And that's going to be for sand. And I'm just going to send it for right now into a container or something. I don't know. Oh crap, it went the wrong way. Alright, so. Let me get rid of you. Put you back into place. And then I need another inverted sorter. For sand. The most ridiculous thing I've done in a long time. There we go, it's working now. <laughs> I'm a little concerned there's already five pieces in there, but I guess there's not much I can do about that, I guess. And even with all that, our coal production is still way down. And don't have a phase conveyor available to make longer routes. So we're not going to worry about that. It's okay. Oh, we have a guardian. Cool. We had to have lost on another guardian at some point. Like, we didn't make it this far, I don't think. Alright, I think we'll also throw in some more cyclones. Um, they seem to do a decent job. Uh, cyclone.
And I apologize for being quiet. I just want to try to make sure I'm looking at the battles, make sure that I kind of see any weak points and get them addressed. Um, I think we'll be good here. I'm still a little concerned about this, but that's a lot of firepower that's able to knock out stuff. The problem is, you can see that we lost things, and I think that's where we lost last time. I don't remember exactly, but I feel like we uh, played through and uh, a Guardian hit came through and wiped out a bunch of stuff, and we survived for a little longer, but really, once they did the, the big damage, it was game over for us. Um, that's what I think happened. I, I don't know that to be fact. It's just kind of what rings a bell with me right now. All right. So we have that area set. I'm pretty happy with that in general. We have some defenses back here. Nothing really, honestly. Um, we also need to just make sure our power sources stay safe. Uh, so this is our closest one over here that needs to stay okay. And I really should put that while we're looking here under a force projector. And then I should also get a wave or something. And just put them to make sure we cover all of this stuff. All right, that should be good for us. So came with a lot of boats this time around. There they go, sending off a little signal thing. I don't know what that does. Yeah, they get whipped pretty bad going through there. Does this thing take any damage? No, it really doesn't seem to. Alright, so I think this is the uh, Guardian Wave. Yeah, oh, it's on the, the water too. Crap, I don't like that. Oh, and you can fire forever away. Awesome. Oof. It's doing damage, but... I think we might be in trouble here, folks. Oh, we did it. Alright, I need to pause. I need to see where all of my people are. Oh, they're all dead, aren't they? <laughs> Crap. Alright, that's not a big deal. Domano, let's see. Okay, it looks like it might be just that one power source there. Is that all it was? Oh, awesome. I thought it was going to be way worse. Like, way, way worse. We're still down on power for some reason. Let's try to at least address some of that with another one of these. Alright, we're back on the plus side of power. Oh, we're probably minus because we were, uh, we're making guys. I don't think we lost anything else. Alright. So we have five rounds left. Um, hopefully that, uh, Guardian was uh, all we need to worry about. I'm really also tempted to just throw a, uh, a meltdown, like right here. Throw some, well, it only needs, like it needs a lot of power, but it needs, it needs power. <laughs> such a dumb idea. All right, if we do that, it's gonna need a butt ton of water. And we are actually gonna to have to really, actually really protect this thing. about is uh, wild as can make that little spot and just to dr draw even more power that we don't have let's just throw that on there 
Um, I think we need to put up some battery area somewhere far away. Let's say down here. And let's just throw some large batteries in there. And I'm just adding lots of batteries because the stuff we just put in is going to use a lot of power and we're going to need to have it in reserve when it gets used. All right, here they come. Is it all air? Oh, nice. Okay, so we shouldn't need to melt down at all for this one. And we can keep storing up more power. Yeah, I want them in repair mode. Let's get the show on the road here. Yeah, this is where it's just they start throwing overwhelming numbers at you. Alright, we have another one there that's to rebuild stuff. Okay. I'm happy with all of that. We're producing power. We have uh more than doubled our power storage as far as what is actually stored. Uh, and we are well on our way to adding even more stuff. Alright, so this is all going to be air units. Let's see how oh, easy air units. This is probably at the point where I was like, oh, we can probably win this. <laughs> and then the next one's going to be just absolutely brutal. This is all uh, nine enemies. Okay, so they got. Uh, see, these are, these guys are the ones that like. These kind of sneak in there. If this area gets obliterated or runs out of power or whatever it is. Ooh. Where are you? Hi, buddy. How you doing? Man, parallax. Solid right there. Those guys just held that thing and tried to get past them and just held them, slowed them down, and then made it crash there. That's beautiful. Right, we definitely depleted a lot of our. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we don't have to survive much longer. We only really have this last two, but we need to get that whole situation under control real fast. Uh, why? Oh, crap. Okay. When I said I didn't care about this one and I wasn't sure it was going to solve the problem, that now, now I care about it because it's shut off this entire area for us. Alright, now we should be able to get that back online real fast. Hopefully. go we're starting to get back to where we need to be still have to feed some more coal into there but we should be good and we're also not producing as much coal because uh it was all power based stuff so <laughs> yay us but once we can store a little bit we'll be fine we just need to get to that that point where we can store just a little bit there we go up, up, up. come on guys Think for right now I'm just gonna turn that one off. Just want to make sure we store up enough power, especially if something comes along that's gonna use that stuff. But there's our last wave, I believe. 
Alright, it's gonna be another one of these big old guys. This is gonna hurt because the parallaxes pull up a lot of power. And we survived that, and also wound up with some plus side power. Alright, I'm gonna go back and turn this bad boy back on there. Um, not that's gonna matter too much, but I just wanted to make sure I did that. And uh, hey, we captured sector, what is this, sector 40, uh, which was a lot harder to take back than what it should have been. Uh, but I'm gonna leave you here. Thank you for joining me, folks, for another episode of Minus Tree. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.